Hey Grandic fans, uh, I have a most uh, unusual, not Grandi Gradio here. I've got a Sanyo, um, what is it? M9998K stereo cassette recorder. It had a look nice, it looked nice. And um, I got it for $60 because the guy said it didn't work. Um, it's a bit battered up. The tape is, button is broken here. Button is broken here, button is broken here, but the motor does work. So if I ever find but these buttons somewhere, I can fix it. But that's not why I got it. I was just curious. It looked really pretty. I like the VU meters. And uh, I'm going to show you at the end what I had to do to bring it back to life. So a couple of things. I uh, This switch over here is, is very bad. Uh, I have actually opened the unit, which I'll show you in a minute, and I've put a lot of deoxid de in it, but that doesn't always work. So when I get time again, I have to open the switch at the back, unsolder it, polish the contacts, and that'll be it, it'll work. But right now it needs a bit of pressure on the left to work, so that's why I've kind of benched it up a bit. Uh, but the sound is beautiful, and the features are really nice too. You can see it's got, um, it's got a ceramic or moving ma magnet cartridge input, which is just beautiful. I can use old turntables or new ones. Phono input, line in aerials, line out, external speakers, speaker switch. Um, it's fully loaded. It's got everything on you. And uh, I think it's a late 70s model. So, yeah, pretty happy with the, the sound of it. I mean, for $60, this thing plays beautifully. Listen to the FM. Queensland here. I would think. If you're in Victoria without a beanie, I don't know how you survive in some of those wintry nights. I'm going to say Queenslander. Is that right, Georgia? No, it's not. We'll wait for some music. Yeah. New South Wales. Yeah, okay, that was the second choice. Yeah, that's yeah. that's it. I mean, this, this is the thing. That is shockwave. I actually picked up a ham SSB uh, transmission before, that's why I'm looking on the uh, shop there. Yeah, I'm of course yeah, stunning. The radio. <laughs> Super sensitive. Open and go from, because oh, I don't think he's had many 50s recently. Uh, well, he hasn't had actually in this series, uh, has he? No, I think he's got a 50. 131065, can we guess your state with just one question? <laughs> It's a, I think, 7 watts RMS, that's what the speakers are rated at, so uh, 10 watts music, 7 are normal, whatever that means, so it's only got a lot of power, a lot of power. I do like do like the sound quality so i will attack this little switch over here and make sure that works um, so that i can switch it to phono and connect the record player the tape i'm not too fussed until i get the parts to fix it if i ever do but the sound is very good it is really good it's got um, it's got bass treble balance uh, two input volume controls because it's got two microphone inputs uh, click stop volume which is just click, beautiful click 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 and with the tuning, it's got a high speed outer and a slow speed inner for fine tuning. So th this is a really nice receiver, really nice um, unit. Beautifully built inside, all connectors can be totally dismantled. And I'll show you some photos at the end. I didn't take videos, but I'll show you some photos, I think, of when it was opened up. But love the sound quality, absolutely beautiful. Brother makes you feel like a jail cell. Everybody's going through, you can never tell. I wish there was a way that I could break the shell. And it's also got loudness on here, which is really nice. So I've got the loudness turned on. I've got it in wide mode, and that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful sound. I know it, I know it's been a heart. Came out with it. Um... Super sensitive. I've been done this. 
koleżanki kawy rozpuszczalnej. So anyway, thank you for watching and uh, I've got I think a couple of clips and photos of uh, the inside of it. I'll definitely open it up again and take the switch apart, sand the contacts, tighten them up. That's what it needs. If uh, the deoxid spray doesn't work, then the contacts, uh, because they switch power around, they get uh, eaten, pitted, corroded, and uh, they need to be taken apart and sanded. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you do find one of these pretty cheap, uh, do get it. The sound is beautiful. Yeah, just uh, bringing an old uh, Senya to life. I've taken the unit out. This this whole unit comes out in one piece. And uh, all these switches in here, they needed a good blast with the famous Deoxid 05. So again, a really good blast in there, clean them out. And uh, it's beautifully built. This 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 whole PCB with the volume controls came out, and I've given each pot a, a really good blast of the Oxid 5. Turn the knobs around, make sure they're all uh, being moved after spraying it. That's what really clears the junk. It's got beautiful connectors everywhere. Really nice unit. The tape deck it should work, but this switch is broken. This switch, the actual plastic is broken in there. This one is broken, this is broken off. So until I get some new switches, if I ever do, I can't fix it. But I think if I change these switches in here, uh, it should work, it should work. It's just the, the, these plastics crack over time. Everything else looks good. So that's about it, uh, it's mainly the switches. So I'll put it back together and see if that works. Uh, I've been running it off my power supply, 12 volts DC. Uh, it does work. Um, I'll have to see the AC supply works next. But beautiful unit, absolutely beautifully made, absolute quality.